guys, I'm back with another comparison review video and I promised you guys that I want to, that I will, you know, record a comparison video between my uh, Valentino shoulder chain bag and my medium classic flag by Chanel. And shoulder chain bag in the medium size, also called Rockstar bag. And then here is my, here is my um, medium classic flap by Chanel. So I have already a video on this bag, I will put down below the link, but now I just want to review this particular bag and then may compare it together. At the end of this video I will also give you some modeling shots. So I purchased this bag, this was beginning of this year, I think it was January, yes. I've purchased this bag in January this year and since then I've used it maybe three times. Uh, it's quite a delicate bag and I tend to use this bag only when first it's not raining, second I know I'm not going um, on a crazy place uh, like clubbing and stuff, you know, um, if it's just, you know, an event or a dinner then I'll go for this bag. I used it once even for work, I really really enjoyed it and so just want to show you how it looks. This bag is in the classic Valentina nude, you know, the house nude they have. It's the P45, I think. It's P45, the color nude they have. And um, it's in the medium size. The Valentina chain bags come in three sizes. They have a mini, and then they have a small, and the medium. And this is the medium. The small is very, very popular. I really wish that bag for the longest time. But, you know, since I have now my Furla Metropolis bag, which kind of replaces, you know, the idea of having a small Valentino chain bag, I am good, you know, like this. Uh, we'll see what the future brings. Anyway, so this is in the uh, nude color, you know, it uh, has a rose touch in it with the champagne gold hardware. It comes with this chain here and has the similar um, style like the Chanel bag so you have you can double up or you can just wear it as a single chain and then put it you know as a crossbody bag or shoulder bag and if you do it like this you can wear it by hand or only shoulder bag um, the size is pretty generous for being a compact still small bag here on the front a clasp you know to open the bag the similar one as Louis Vuitton used to have in some of their bags, like the Pochette Matisse, let's say. And here is this beautiful type of piece, leather piece. And then here you see on the front that goes all the way on the back, just the studs, right? And it's a flap back, has no feet on the bottom. And then here you can see how it looks on the side and on the other side. You still have a gap here, as you can tell, that's because it's a single flap and yeah. So the chain is hooked on a ring here, as you can tell, and the ring are quite comfortable so the chain can be moved easily on the front or on the back. And uh, the back itself is very well made, it's a smooth leather and you still can see stitches on it so if I turn the back around then you definitely can tell here you know the stitches and then here as well let me show you here is a stitch I really hope you can tell I'm not sure if the camera is focusing actually so um, the stitch the stitches of this bag are very visible and um, it feels super high quality on the front here it says Valentino has their logo on it here engraved and yeah, so let's go and see the inside of this bag. You just open the bag by clicking here, these two buttons, and then the bag is open. And then inside is the same smooth leather, so it's basically a leather on leather bag, at least here for the cover, for the opening flap. And then inside, this is the first shot you get. I have um, papers in it with the dust bag to keep the bag in shape. You definitely need to um, store this bag with uh, some paper in it. You need to keep it stuffed because otherwise the bag will lose um, shape. Um, it's, it's a little bit, it's, it's flexible and you definitely can tell. You see, if I squish it like this, I mean, 
it, it becomes really, can you tell how I can, yeah, so I'll definitely recommend to put anything inside, um, such as a, a pillow or any air paper or only type of um, paper like this, right? Okay, so this is the shot here that you tell that you can see inside. It's in the beige lining, so it has a beige lining. I quickly show you the tags that it came with. I do have two tags stored here inside. There you go. First, the first is a, just an envelope with the care instruction, and then the second one here you can tell is the tag where it says the price as well as the color number and it looks inside you can tell there is a slot on the back with the logo on it of the Valentino in the red lining it just says Valentino Caravani made in Italy and then this uh, slot here is basically a zipper slot which is not flexible at all so I wouldn't I mean I I don't know what I would put, actually I've never used this slot, so it's, I even don't know if you can tell. So the slot is really, really stiff as well as the both pockets here on the front. Can you tell here on the front there are two pockets, one and two, and they're super stiff as well, so I'm not sure why they've done it like this, because I'm not able to put anything inside besides tags, bills, be or tickets, you know, maybe cash. They're super, super stiff, but um, the main compartment is um, generous, you know, compared to all the smaller bags and I will go ahead and show you what fits inside. So let's get started here again and it's a one single flap bag and this is how it looks inside. There again is the zipper pocket which has a zipper pull as well. The zipper obviously is not comparable to Louis Vuitton zippers. It's not that smooth and here is the pocket, quite stiff actually. And then here, again, I hope you can tell, are these two um, slots. I want to show you if a bigger size wallet would fit inside. This is the Jet Set Michael Kors wallet, which is a full size wallet. And I just want to show you if um, this wallet would fit. And as you can tell, it fits perfectly inside, so you would be able to carry, you know, a full size wallet. So for mobile phone, this is an iPhone 6. Let me put this one on front. You can even put it on the back. I mean, like this. Maybe this wall, this mobile phone would fit inside this pocket. Not sure how intelligent this would be because if your phone is starting to ring, um, you would struggle a little bit to get it to get the phone out of the pocket unless you would keep the pocket open with that zipped it up. So let's put the uh, mobile phone, since it's a slim mobile phone, here inside this um, zipper compartment. And then on the front we still have our um, wallet. And so then I would need keys, right? So you can I either have your six key rings um, holder or a clip pochette. This is, um, I think, the most used item in our Louis Vuitton community to store any keys or coins. So this one, let's pretend my keys are here inside or one or two keys. So obviously this fits perfectly. I have with me um, my sunglasses, but I would, you know what? Let's put the sunglasses as last because we, you know, we actually we wear sunglasses, right? So what I have here is this cosmetic pochette. This is the toiletry pouch uh, 15 in the size 15 by Louis Vuitton. So let's put this here inside. Um, I could put it like this, you know, it's fully stuffed actually, So, but I'm not sure if I would be able to close it. Yes, I would be able, but then I'm limited in carrying other things. But, um, you know, I have my poch uh, cosmetic pochette, my wallet, my keys, um, clay pochette, and then my mobile phone. And let's close the bag and yeah. It is closing very nicely. So the back is quite heavy here, some wrinkles, but this is the leather, you know. This is how the leather looks like. So, yeah, this is how it is. It is super, super heavy now. Let's try out another option. Maybe let's let's try to put this the sunglasses case with the sunglasses still on top. 
this would fit as well. So I, I, I even have my sunglasses inside. The cosmetic pochette, let's try to put our agenda that um, some of you even, maybe some of you even use it as a wallet. So this is my agenda, six ring agenda in the PM size by Louis Vuitton. And uh, let's turn it around because it's so very nice. So you have your agenda, your wallet, clip pochette, your mobile phone and then enough space for your sunglasses. Very nice. Very, very nice. Some of you may want to know if a mini pochette would fit and obviously maybe you want to use this one as a miscellaneous pochette or to store some of your makeup so it fits very nicely. And then let's put, you know, a small lipstick. This one is by Chanel and it's the Rouge Coco Smile number 54 in the color boy. Here on the side, perfect. Really, really nice. So it fits really, really nice and perfect. On with another option. I will still put my mobile phone in this zipper compartment. Uh, and just keep the zipper compartment open and let's say you want to carry with you you know like a smaller wallet this is the zippy coin purse by Louis Vuitton and it's a really beautiful size for smaller bags you know like this one and then you could still uh, carry with you a card case this one used to be by Chanel I can do it like this or it like this and then you need to worry to carry with you your keys there you go and then maybe you want to carry with you your agenda or passport case which has the same size by the way you know there you go and then maybe still you know a mini pochette to use it as a cosmetic bag and this is full guys, I mean I have an A paper inside but it's, it's super stiff. So guys, I rearranged it a little bit with the same item because I was not able to close the bag. So as you can tell here there is the agenda which could also be a passport case, it has the same size, at least the one by Louis Vuitton. And then here is the CP coin purse, on the front is the clay pochette. Here is a Chanel card case. I actually wouldn't carry the card case if I have the wallet, but you know, maybe you guys uh, like to split cards, you know, in different um, cases. And then here on the front is the pochette, the mini pochette by Louis Vuitton, you know, maybe with some miscellaneous or makeup. And then on the back, on the zipper compartment here, is uh, the mobile phone is stored in there. So um, this is how it looks stand up. There you go, and in, in this way I'm able to close the back, there you go. So it looks pretty good, the leather here still is, and, and you know, the, the leather is super soft, so obviously you will uh, still see any some of the wrinkles, but um, if this doesn't bother you, you know, then uh, the bag is quite, quite beautiful. And let me give you now a side-by-side -side comparison with the medium, um, medium classic flap by Chanel. So this is how it looks side-by-side. -side. You definitely can tell that the medium size um, by Chanel is uh, smaller. And here on the side, you can tell that, um, that the, the Valentino one is thicker. And then on the bottom, there you go back and here at the front yeah so the the Chanel has a double flap right so has this main flap here and then the second one and then here inside you can tell how limited your space is you definitely won't be able to put um, all the things I've showed you inside my Valentino bag, you, you cannot put it in there. 
So whenever I carry my, you know, this um, bag here, I just limit myself with even more, with even less items, you know. So whenever I carry this bag, I really carry only my card case, my clays. Usually I tend to put my mobile phone here inside this pocket, so I still have, you know, space here. You could carry your um, zippy compact, uh, I mean a zippy coin purse, you know, and then maybe a, 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 um, a few makeup items here, a compact, you know. So yeah, um, there you go guys, I'll show you a quick comparison, what can fit inside. Again, the Valentino um, shoulder chain bag is definitely bigger as this one, not that much bigger but it is bigger i can definitely carry more here inside and with this bag i'm a little bit limited but i tend to use this one anyway for night outgoing or you know when i use it during the day then I'm, i just carry the essentials so there you go so i really um i'll i'll show you i'll show you some modeling shots. okay guys i am about 5'3 which is one meter and 61 centimeters and these are both of the bags that i'm gonna show you this is my medium um, classic flap by Chanel and if I wear it by shoulder it looks like this. And then here I have the shoulders, um, you know, both of the chains. Uh, arrange it together to wear this bag by shoulder and so this is how it looks as you can tell the chains are much longer you know the one by Valentino so the bag lays a little bit lower as the Chanel So let me go ahead and show you the back by one shoulder. So I put it, you know, like this. This is the Valentino. And this is how it looks like just as a shoulder back. Chain is quite long. It, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's hanging a little bit low. So this is how it looks. And this by you know, crossbody. Let me quickly show you. As you can tell here, side by side. And if I put this crossbody, you can definitely tell that it's high. And this one, comfortable. Okay guys, I really hope you enjoyed this um, comparison video. I see that my battery is dying. Oh, so thank, thank you so much for watching guys. See you soon on my next video. Bye.